Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Sonia and I am back with another morning lunch video. This morning, um, a lot of the items that you see in the lunchbox that I am packing, I have kind of planned it out the night before because um, we did go shopping this week and some of the things were already on the counter. So I was like, okay, I'm going to put this, this, and this inside their lunch boxes. Before we get started, I would like to invite all of you to join my family and subscribe to my channel so you can be updated on any new videos that I put out and also I am available on these other social media platforms so definitely go check me out all right so let's get started and no I am not so hyper this early in the morning <laughs> I wish right that would just make life so awesome but no <laughs> this morning I am giving the kids some apples um, I am cutting those up into small bite-sized pieces because they will not eat big chunks and they come back home untouched and that is just heartbreaking for me because they didn't eat that fruit that I gave them so I have become quite imaginative and started cutting them up in small bite-sized pieces today I also gave them some grapes that we have um, I washed up a few and had those dry as dry as I could get them <laughs> I was rushing um, so I packed a few of those in both of their lunch boxes I also gave um, some chips and pretzels um, and I split two different kinds between the boys um, Erod likes pretzels so I gave him these pretzels Ishan I gave him some Cheetos and these are the oven baked kind um, even though I know a lot of people are going to be like, oh, those are not healthy, blah, 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 but hey. I'm also packing two chocolate chip cookies, and these are pretty small mini cookies. That will be their treat, um, as well as the chips, obviously, and the pretzels for some of you guys. For a lot of you guys, this might not be a healthy snack or healthy meal. Um, you know, you guys can label it whatever you like, but this is how I do my lunches. My children do come back with empty lunch boxes, so I don't do videos with what they have left in their lunch boxes after school. I have seen a lot of videos where, you know, kids would come home and parents would be doing the videos of the kids. Uh, lunch boxes after school and nothing is eaten or they haven't even touched a lot of the stuff Thank God my, my my children are not doing that. They are pretty much eating everything or most close to everything I would say 95% of everything that I put in their lunch boxes So I am happy about that as long as they're eating something versus nothing It makes me happy and a satisfied parent <laughs> Sorry for going off topic there, but let's get back into it. So what I am doing is I took some chicken fajitas, and I think you guys have seen me do this before. Um, I take some pre-cooked um, chicken fajitas, and I defrost them, um, and then I will heat up a pan, put a little bit of oil, whatever oil you like. Um, I just use either vegetable or canola. I go ahead and let that cook up. I cover it up and just let it steam. Um, also, uh, while that is cooking, I will give them, like finish up putting like the other items inside their lunch boxes. I gave them some Skittles today. Um, also, I'm just uh, filling up their water bottles. I do that every day. Fresh water bottle um, into their lunch boxes or juices if I'm giving them some juice or sweet tea, whatever their drink may be. Um, right now, this past week, I've been just giving them water because they um, come back home with their sweet tea not drunk, so I just kind of avoid that for this week. I'm just giving them water. If they ask for it, I will give them the additional drink. So I go over to my chicken and it is cooked and just to the way I like it and I am going to go ahead and put those inside the hot boxes here and um, just divide those between the two boys. I don't give them like way too much. I've learned proportion is key here and um, I give them just enough so that they will eat that amount and not get overstuffed and if they have too much food sometimes they won't eat it. So a little bit of everything is key here. The boys did fight over who wanted the green lunch box, but obviously um, it's going to go to Erod because he's the younger one. <laughs> I know, that's not playing fair. 
so once all of that is done, I am just gonna assemble everything into their Wildkin lunch boxes. And um, that is Ishan's. Ishan has the blue lunch box, and Irad has that green lunch box. My Ishan is a sweet boy, so he uh, decided to go ahead and uh, give it to his brother and did not put up a fuss about it. So I love you, baby. You are awesome. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, check back on my link that I have uh, connected where you can find other lunch videos that I have done for my children. And if you find this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and I will see you later.